Hey guys, Clarksville Diggers. <coughs> oh, sniffling and everything else. I think I swallowed a bunch of grass. Had to get the yard cut real quick. Hey, y'all want to see something? This ain't part of the reason for the video, but I'd just like to share. I got maters. Green, green maters. Look at that. Got them all up through there. Got bell pepper on the very end. Oh, we got great, great vine that the wife got from uh, her home in Georgia. And it's doing well. We hope to have that thing going all the way through the fence. Another bell pepper. Here's my cucumber. Pretty soon that thing's going to take over the whole flower bed. All right. There's my gnome garden, so now y'all know I'm into gnomes. It's like Papa Smurf and the family over there chilling out. All right. You know, yesterday I was talking about uh, resetting machines. I kind of said something a little wrong, but I couldn't change the video. So I thought I'd just do a follow-up. Yesterday I said when you're getting ready to turn it on, you turn it on and hold it. And that was wrong. What you're doing, and this applies to all Garrett machines. It's got this push button touch pad. And if they got this, then this action and what it does, it applies to all of them. But turn your machine on. Then press till you hear a double beat. And then let go. And now everything is in sync between your coil and your detector. I'm gonna turn it off. Uh, every time you change a coil, you need to do that. You need to reset this so it calibrates and matches with the coil. And you know, it's kinda too, it's like on your computer, when you're getting ready to sign off or something and you kinda hit that refresh. It's kind of like being in a library and you got you put all the books back to where they went But they're not all flush and not all looking pretty And when you reset the controller Kind of like the library and it gets a little bit disarray and it smooths everything out puts everything in order like it's supposed to be and uh, I Know on the AT Pro which applies to, to this too, the max but when you do reset, it does a number of things. Not only does it calibrate the uh, detector to the coal, it also turns around and uh, automatically ground balances. The uh, don't know what it does on the Max. I didn't pay no attention, but I know on the AT Pro, it automatically ground balance it to 80. And on sensitivity, you'll be two bars from the top. In the factory settings, Garrett, they say that's the optimal settings, but uh, you can go back and you can change those around a little bit uh, It uh, automatically it'll it'll put it back on coins and uh, But if people like to like on a max if you like to go zero or all metal you can go back and do that change it around But uh, it doesn't hurt to do that. You know, even if you're not changing a coil Maybe once a week just do it regularly it won't hurt your machine and uh, it'll keep it at uh, optimal settings uh, like I said you can always go back and change or add and uh, it just doesn't hurt to, uh, to reset your machine every now and then but every time you change your coil do that turn it on then go back and press your button and hold it for five to ten seconds till you hear that double beat and then let it go and you'll get the most out of your machine between your control box and your coil. Everything will be linked in. Linked in. You know, yesterday I was using that sniper coil and it really surprised me. There at first it was a little bit erratic. It was noisy. But uh, around that playground and those wood chips and stuff, there's a lot of minerals. But like I said before, when I was going out on the grass, it... Uh, it started quieting down but <laughs> doing that small little thing and trying to get some some uh some some coverage whoo wee 
had to wear your arms out and i went back i went back to the big coil but uh we had fun yesterday and uh wish i could be out today but getting got to get things done around the yard but anyway i wanted to clear that up and it's an important uh thing here to always remember to reset your machine when you're changing your coil and like I said uh, I, d I didn't know that I didn't know you had to always do that and a lot of other people didn't either um, so now you know it <laughs> I just want to share it with you and uh, like I said uh, before you know any kind of little tips that I can help with machines um, I'm definitely here to, to help I don't, I don't know it all but I'm learning pretty quick. And the main thing, I just love doing it. Anything with a machine, I love doing it. If I could turn this and find some way to turn this into a uh, full-time job, I'd do it in a heartbeat. I'd give up what I do for a living right now. I love machines. Love metal detecting. I like to take care of my stuff, but at the same time, I like to get the most out of it. So... As I learn, I'll pass it on to y'all. And uh, we're all here to uh, try to help each other. So anyway, I'm going to go back and get to weed eating now. i got to go around the driveway. and I mean, one of y'all can come here and help me. <laughs> I'll feed you too. <laughs> oh, mercy. Well, thanks for watching. As always, give us a thumbs up. Me and Joanne appreciate it. Uh... We got results on her uh, blood test and everything, and everything came back negative, so that's good. So that's a big worry, and she don't have nothing weird going on inside of her. And uh, doctor, he wanting to get another second opinion, you know, about her about her knee. She got a little bit unusual situation with her knee, but uh, he's ready to do the surgery. But uh, you know, a little things he feels a little awkward about, and uh, he just want to get a, another another word on it so keep your fingers crossed and say a prayer that it doesn't get uh, um, pushed back you know any farther than it has and um, but if it does I guess for a reason you know God's in control so y'all have a blessed day thank you for watching and uh, hopefully we'll have you up something like I say this this next week I'm gonna be busy so I don't think uh, a video is going to be possible unless of a little quick uh, instructional thing that I come up with. But yeah, thanks for watching, y'all, and we're going to go. We'll see you soon. Joanne and I says bye bye.